And now a man who always shows up for his job every day. It's Nathan Cones with your news. I give me far too much credit, my guy. But no, no, not at all. You are always here. Yeah, when's the last time you took a sick day? Uh, or last year. Last First year. First one in seven years, though. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> no, one, no, no one cares. Let's I, I, I think that's a, that's okay. So looking at jumping into your news here, a bill introduced in the Iowa House would require parental permission before Iowans under the age of 18 could create a social media account on websites or smartphone apps such as Snapchat. Tom Chapman, who's executive director of the Iowa Catholic Conference, says his church urges parents to actively monitor social media use by their children. Anybody who's been a parent recently knows that minors can easily create and use social media accounts without parental awareness or supervision, and we'd like to give parents a chance to help. The Social Media Parental Authorization Act would require platforms like Instagram or TikTok to verify a parent or guardian has granted written and digital permission for a minor to have an account. The bill did clear a House subcommittee on Wednesday morning. Representative Sammy Sheets, a Democrat from Cedar Rapids, supported the bill. I love the intent of this bill. Um, As somebody who grew up in the social media age, I understand firsthand how damaging social media can be to the mental health of young people. But Sheet says the bill needs uh, work because as written, it would be hard to enforce and likely could be challenged in court. There are other bills in the legislature designed to restrict minors' access to social media also. The governor has proposed requiring people to upload an ID, like a driver's license, to prove they're an adult before getting access to sites that contain pornographic content. So a theme kind of appearing in the legislature this year of restricting access, especially for youth, uh, for potentially what would be considered adult content. Looking elsewhere, Carroll County, Iowa State University Extension and Outreach invites local producers to register for an upcoming workshop on cover crop implementation. Iowa Learning Farms, in collaboration with ISU Extension, is set to conduct that workshop on cover crops and relay intercropping coming up Wednesday, February 28th from noon to 2 p.m. at the East Shelter House in Swan Lake State Park. The program offers farmers and landowners an opportunity to explore and discuss these conservation practices. Cover crops provide many benefits, including soil erosion, reduction, weed suppression, reduced nutrient runoff, increased organic matter, and forage for livestock. In a relay intercropping system, which involves growing three crops in two years, farmers gain marketable small grain cover crops as well as additional revenues. Dr. Matt Helmers, director of the Iowa Nutrient Research Center, Dr. Mark Licht, associate professor and extension cropping system specialist, and Dr. John Dalem, postdoctoral research associate, will host the uh, workshop. The program is free for farmers, but reservations are required to attend. Participants will enjoy a complimentary meal and have the chance to win an ISU Prairie Strips honey from a drawing if they do go. For reservations, you can contact Elena Whitaker at 515-294-2473 or email ilf at iastate.edu. The workshop is supported by the USDA National Resources Conservation Service. And the Lake City City Council has officially posted and is now accepting bids for construction of a new pickleball court in Goins Park. Fundraising for the project started around October of last year, and City Administrator Jacob Matthews says many local businesses and individuals are offering to donate materials and labor for the project, all of which needs to be submitted in the form of a bid that's accepted by the City Council and then reviewed by the project engineer before a start date can officially be announced. The bids might be a mix of donated material or labor and other things that council may end up selecting. It'll add a little time for our engineering firm to figure it all out, but it should be done no later than August. Bids are open until February 29th at 10 a.m., and then all bids wishing to be considered must be submitted by that deadline. Otherwise, the bill would be returned to the sender, un, or the bid, I should say, would be returned to the sender un, unopened. The city council did discuss des- designating an official clock to ensure everything is clear about when those bids need to be submitted. The official clock is in the town square, so anything after 10 a.m. on the 29th, according to our clock on the town square, will be considered. Matthew says there's a lot of excitement going on in the community for this pickleball court, and as long as everything goes smoothly, it should be completed by the end of the summer for people yet to enjoy in 2024. Again, bids for the project are being accepted and are due to Lake City Hall by February 29th at 10 a.m. And that will wrap up your news here on KCIM. I'm Nathan Cohns reporting. You ever run across some serious pickleball players? Uh, no. So, like, I went back into the history, and it used to be called Cucumber Ball. 
and then it got you know got put into a jar. And Said we need a more ridiculous name, yeah. so pickleball was it. Yeah. So that no, I I actually have not. I know it's pretty intense. There's a good. Um, they are rabid. I, I, I'm talking. Yeah, it's like you know we have leagues. We play. We're we're serious. And and uh, Terry uh, Terry, <laughs> I forgot his name right all of a sudden. So um, Sam. Yeah, come on, you know who I'm talking about, no, right? I, no, I, do, I have no. Helps us out here. with sports. Come on. Uh, anyway, he moved to Sioux Casper, Falls. Oh, Casper, Casper Bauer. Bauer. There you go. I don't know why I drew. Well, that you just blank. said Terry. I mean, do you know how many yeah. Terrys there are? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Give me some more context. <laughs> I gave you a one in a million shot. So <laughs> I missed. Uh, he said that actually they they have you ranked. Uh, of what level of pickleball player you are, and then you can play at a certain time on their courts. I'm uh, like, so are you serious? They have to separate the peasants from the yep. kings here? Yep, they don't want these slouchers in Did, with the serious pickleballers. Have you? Do you watch much Impractical Jokers? Uh, this no. comes back. I, so you know the show, though, yeah. right? They have a pickleball bit that they do <laughs> that you need to pull off once we jump off the air, because it's probably about four minutes long, but they, they embody... The intense pickleballer, mm-hmm. and it's a it's a good laugh. You'll enjoy it. Yeah, don't mess with those serious pickleballers, man. You will regret it. I guarantee that. Thanks, Nathan, for the news update. Once again, you can catch all that news available on the website, the mobile app, free anytime you want it.